earlier today, I was speaking with a friend of mine, and Pietro said this to me, David, I believe that after all this is passed, we're going to have a brighter beginning. He did not say new beginning, he said brighter beginning. I thought of that, and I thought he's correct, that after all of this, we're going to be, uh, we're going to have more intelligence, uh, people are going to be more aware of the times we live in, um, we're going to be more focused, we're going to be more awakened, awakened to God and the things of God, this is my prayer, um, and that there is going to be um, people at a more, uh, a higher spiritual level uh, in, in relationship with God, and this is also my prayer. And so I believe that we're going to uh, come out of this and we're going to have a brighter beginning, just like my friend uh, Pietro said to me this afternoon. Um, if we truly believe what Romans 8.28 says, that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love Him, to those who are called according to His purpose. If we truly believe that, we will expect good. We will wait for good to take place. If we truly believe Jeremiah 29, 11, which says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you, not of evil, not for destruction, not to, to harm you, but to give you peace, to give you hope, to give you a future. Again, if we believe the Word of God, we will expect good. You know, God is sovereign. He is in control. I, I want to assure you that God did not necessarily send, send uh, this COVID-19 upon mankind, but He knew it was going to happen. He knew it was in the works. He, he knew it was going to come out of whatever was happening, and He was going to use it for good. He was going to allow it to happen, and in the end, work out good. Uh, and, and so we can expect good, and I, and I pray that, that, that you would expect good from God. If we truly believe He's sovereign, then we would expect good. Good will come. Good will come in the end. My heart's desire for you and my prayer is that you will have a brighter beginning, a, a, a brighter beginning of expectation, a brighter beginning of, of stronger faith, a brighter beginning of greater hope in your heart and and that you would uh, expect things from God expect God to come through from you uh, for you rather and so uh, I want to encourage you today with these few words that uh, believe for a brighter beginning B believe God to bring you through and bring you out of this you know again I'm reminded of Israel uh, behind doors in the middle of Egypt, Egypt uh, where there were uh, slaves, and they were behind doors with the blood of the lamb on the lentil and the doorposts of their homes. They were safe, secured, and God brought them out, uh, uh, out of that um, and brought them into safety and blessed them. I also believe that we who are born again, having Christ as our Lord and Savior, we're also safe and secured, covered under the blood of Jesus. I want to encourage you, if you have never asked Jesus to be your Lord and Savior, it's simple. Just say to him, God, I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Please forgive me my sins and wash me with the precious blood of Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit that I'm born again. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. I thank you that I'm born again. I'm your child. You are my father. Bring me through this thing. Bring me out of it. Give me a brighter beginning. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Be encouraged.